Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. According to Anna Cabrera on Twitter, California officials tell CNN they anticipate nearly all salmon in the Sacramento River will die due to abnormally hot underwater conditions as heat waves continue. Welcome to the Sunday sum up, everyone. I'm fun at parties. So it's just increasingly clear with all the various natural disasters and ridiculous heat waves and shattering of heat records, human impact on the planet has definitely, you know, made things worse with regards to the climate. As Public Citizen rightly points out here, they were sharing this tweet that showed four different articles. Death Valley had planet's hottest 24 hours on record Sunday amid punishing heat wave. Thousands of firefighters battle wildfires burning more than 850,000 acres across 12 states. New Yorkers wade through waist-deep floods to reach their trains as storms pummel the city. Leaky gas pipeline sparks an inferno in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, remember like a week or two ago when the ocean caught on fire because of our hubris? And then there's also the horrifying floods that are happening in Germany and like Belgium and the Netherlands right now that is submerging cities and there's like hundreds of people unaccounted for. And then again, related to climate news, there's this tweet from Touring News. Working out in that heat day after day for paltry wages and no health care. We are so unprepared. Extreme heat fueled by climate change, putting farm workers' lives on the line. So we have a real crisis here, and our governments aren't doing nearly enough to begin addressing it. And it's only going to get worse from here. And even here in Canada, we are not immune to this. The plants looked as if someone took a blowtorch to them. Extreme heat and dry conditions have devastated crops across Western Canada. One blackberry farmer lost $30,000 worth of crop. But don't worry, with climate change, it opens up all new areas of the North to agriculture. Not like we still need the current sector for agriculture and where we've invested the time and the energy into developing and cultivating agriculture. It's not like that's still super important and is not under threat by climate change at all. And yet governments around the world, be they Western or not, aren't taking the steps necessary to prevent a wide scale environmental and humanitarian crisis that is rapidly approaching. Wow, the Canadian federal government advanced its no gas powered cars will be sold. They said, you know, in 2040 originally, now they've pushed it to 2035. Great job. And that still doesn't actually bar gas cars from being sold. It just means no new cars being sold will be gas powered. Meanwhile, we are in, we're like halfway through 2021. And this is already the stuff we are seeing and dealing with. Imagine what happens by 2025. Imagine what happens a decade from now in 2031. Do we think things are going to be better? Especially considering, as I pointed out in a previous video, we are continuing oil exploration. In fact, it has increased. We are literally watching the world die around us and our political leaders seem disinterested in doing what actually needs to be done and showing real leadership on the issue. This will affect, you know, th there's no doubt thinking about, oh, well, what about my donors and the voting base and we still need to hold on to power. Those things that you care about are also directly threatened by climate change. If you want to have an electorate to lead around by the nose, and if you want donors who will actually have political sway over a supported political structure, then you need people and the current world to survive which means climate change should be of supreme importance to you. And yet it's not. And that is what's bothering me today.